Hello, everybody, and welcome to the series of HCD posters, posters for Eurosense. Um, I'm sorry if I missed you at the poster session, um, but I just want to give you a quick overview of what we were talking about so that you can definitely come and visit our posters um, on a number of different ways, as well as some individual videos we're going to be posting to YouTube. Key takeaway, HCD had a lot of posters for Eurosense. We had five different posters. And something that we learned was that there were too many posters for too little time. Because when you have too many posters, it's difficult to interact on them all at the same time. And there was no chat box to leave the messages. So that made it a little difficult to interact, but also how do you download a poster? I think we had a lot of people that were having some issues with that. So if you missed our session, please feel free to find us at these other locations. You can visit the HCD website site at www.hcdi.net. You can tweet with us at HCD Neuroscientist, Neuroscience, sorry. Um, reach out to us on LinkedIn. You can also find all our videos as well as specifically for any of these um, posters on our YouTube channel if you just search for the HCD Research Incorporated channel. You can also email me directly, Michelle Nigella at michelle.nigella at hcdi.net. I am the presenter today, Michelle Nigella, PhD, um, as well as VP of Research and Innovation at HCD. And the five posters we talked about was, uh, first of us, Brand Harmony, where we really talked about how the sensorial experience of the product needs to be harmonious with the overall brand experience and expectations. And by using a set of methodologies that access both the cognitive um, experience as well as the emotional and psychological experience, then you can start to see whether or not there is a good match between the sensorial experience and that brand experience. Another poster we did was the DIY uh, neuroscience tools that people have been adding to their research uh, in-house. In this case, we discussed some of the uh, measures that are most popular, as well as um, a case study on where that could go really poorly, where it could go wrong. Uh, so please check that out as well. We also reviewed a new methodology we use that combines both cognitive and psychological approaches using Max Implicit, a combination of Maxis and Implicit Research. Using these tools in combination, you can get both what the consumer expects as well as what they perceive. And then from that information, you can start to understand better overall what the consumer needs are, as well as the need gaps for particular brands or maybe product areas. In that case, you can then build a consumer technical model for a pipeline of product development. We also examine some behavioral approaches to uh, really making new innovations um, to really instigate some perceptual change and behavioral change by accessing the habits and lifestyles that people have and ways that you can interrupt those behaviors, um, looking at behaviors and habits through cues, routines, and rewards. So check that out. We have to show how you can use neuroscience tools to create a mood map of what the experience the consumer is having emotionally. And being able to do this, you can compare different products, but also compare um, the marketing experience with the product experience to make sure that your brand meets, your product rather, meets the promise. So please join us in checking out some of these uh, posters, and I hope to see you um, in these other days of your sense. Uh, and please feel free to reach out and contact us at any time. Thank you so much.